big box. Thought I'd do a, an unboxing video today. I bought some new toys from Silver CNC. So let's open this box together. I'm curious how it's packed, especially how it's packed after opened and resealed by Customs. It's got their hands on it. Let's take a look and then I'll talk about the, the process, the, the quoting process, the paying process, all weird things because you can't just go into Silver C C and C, add to cart and buy it. It's, it's a little different. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I am not a professional unboxer, YouTuber guy, but you're up, you're, you're up, front, up front and center so you can see what I see. This came from, let's say, Chang Hui Hui, Sang Shang, Shang Tian, I don't know. This came from Hong Kong, Shanggang, Fragrant Harbor. That's what Hong Kong means in Chinese. Okay, now I just need a knife. Fragrant Harbor, or as they say, Shanggang. Fragrant Harbor, Hong Kong. Okay, opened and resealed by customs. Let's see here. See if this will cut it. Okay. All right, customs. Didn't even bother putting this box back together. All right, here's the first item. This is a self-centering vise. It's the 125 millimeter. Oh, it's heavy. 125 millimeter model. And it has the serrated jaws. Oh, I guess they think, maybe they're worried that I'm buying fentanyl, huh? Shouldn't say that out loud. All right. Well, customs, they helped me, uh, helped me with the opening. Thanks guys. There we go. Silver C and C, part number Sierra Charlie one two five one two eight, and on the bottom, I've got the ninety two millimeter stud pattern for the retention studs that'll go on to the zero point plate that I also purchased from them. So what do I think? It's oily. That's good. Feels good. I th it feels like it's hardened. The serrations feel mild compared to my uh, my beloved uh, vice that I have now. My, my brain's not working. What what what, <laughs> what kind of vice do I have? I have the the uh, M lock. I love that vice. It has very aggressive teeth on the M lock. Um, and it. Each jaw has a scale that measures from zero to looks like 61 millimeters. That's interesting. All right, so there's the first item I got. And I bought these because I have a new product line. I have a couple, a few new SKUs that, uh, that I'd like to, that I'm going to start selling. And this will help me with op one, op two. Both of these will be set, set up that allow me to have a driven, driven WCS and uh, get into a bit of production. So I'm excited about that. Okay, this is the second item. Okay, this is a zero point collet. This is an ER32 collet. All of, uh, mo a lot of my tooling uses ER32. Uh, so I thought that I'd go with this so that I can, uh, you know, utilize those other collets if I'm doing other round work. And I do a lot of round work and so far, I've been, I've either been making soft jaws for, for the, for the, I make a lot of uh, coin dies. I've either been using soft jaws or I have a little um, indexing collet that I put on there. But every time I seem, I put it on, I have a really hard time uh, get it, getting it, getting it lined up correctly and not be off. So packed very well let's see here and this one was not opened by customs and this one has the retaining knobs in it that other box did not have 
the vise did not have retaining knobs. Hopefully, I don't have to uh, buy those from Silver CNC. Let's see here. Looks like, looks like I can just tear it open. Nope. Pretty. There you go. Part number Sierra Charlie 96 ER32. And that's what their retaining knobs look like. Those nice and stout. Also the 92 millimeter. Or is it 96? I think it's 92. My brain's on my uh, upcoming trip and I can't remember this stuff. My little hook rule here. 96. I, I misspoke earlier. Yeah, these are 96 millimeter spacing. I'm, I plan, like I mentioned before, I'm using Fusion 360 for all of my CAD and CAM and I'm going to use on their manufacturing extension, I'm going to use their driven WCS on the inspection and probing cycle. I haven't tested it yet. I actually don't even know if my post processor will let me do it, but fingers crossed, I will be able to do that. And making these, uh, you know, when you get into production, seconds, seconds count. So hopefully that'll make it a little more repeatable and a little easier for me. That's pretty, I like that. All right, so on to the last one. This last one is a zero point base plate. Um, and throughout this process, I probably, I communicated with Silver CNC over probably a, a week and we, we went back and forth and back and forth on questions and options and bids. I don't know I don't know if I got a good deal, um, but I, I like the product. I also looked at fifth axis and all the fifth axis stuff, as far as I can see, um, was made out of aluminum and I wanted to stick with an alloy steel. So that's one reason I went with silver CNC. That's pretty guys. Look at that. One, two, three. So this plate came with four. Uh, retention knob. So I have four extra since I got four on that ER32 fixture. And the reason I bring up emailing is I wanted to get a zero point plate system that I could use that would fit the T slot space spacing on the sile. And when I'm back from my vacation, back from Route 66 and all that, um, I'm going to do another video as I uh, put this on the machine and I wonder if this pops out. I'm, uh, if you know, yeah, so I'm going to have to set this up and, and, and probe my G59. I'm assuming that this, since there's a, it looks like a target reticle on here, this is where you will probe your G59 and then that, this will never move. Fusion 360 knows where these th things are in three dimensional space. And when I set up my parts, it'll drive off this G59 to my G54, G55. And yeah, that's the concept. And let me tell you guys, this thing is effing heavy. <laughs> I like that. That's heavy. That's a heavy plate. Here's the bottom. In fact, let's take, let's take it out of this plastic. Oh yeah. Heavy and slippery. So there you go. There's the top. There's the right side. There's the back. And then here's our, our 
hex for tightening. I'm not sure what size that is. This is an eight millimeter hex wrench and that seems to fit. This is part number Sierra Charlie 96 S410. That feels great. Feels great in the hand. That'll look great. That'll look amazing on the style. Now I've got my grubby little fingerprints on this thing. Okay, now let's talk business. Okay, so I thought I'd close this video up um, with the purchasing process with Silver CNC. It's an interesting business model. Uh, I assume it's similar to what Lang does or what Sile did when I bought the mill. Uh, to buy something on Silver CNC, well, at least from my perspective, I had to request a quote. Um, and then once I started talking to the individual, I spoke with a young woman, I believe it was a woman, uh, named Ribbon Kang or Kong. And we worked back and forth. Uh, she gave me some quotes uh, and then I accepted the quote and then she gave me an invoice. Um, I don't know if I got a good deal. Uh, they don't have prices listed. I think the pricing depends on the customer and the quantity. Um, so I'm not gonna discuss prices. Uh, I'm not, because that's part of their business model and I don't want bad karma on my side for messing up their business model. But I thought, I, the, though I will say that the prices in my, in my mind were worth it. And now that I've seen this uh, upon first inspection, it, this is some really high quality stuff. That, that base plate is heavy, stout. It feels, at least to, to the touch, uh, like good hardened alloy steel. Um, I like that over uh, aluminum any day of the week. Okay, so after I accepted the quote, then comes the money. They had a, I'm, I'm in Illinois, they had a bank in New York. They have a bank in New York set up that they want you to do a bank transfer. So they want you to wire money from your account to their account, and I don't like that. Ever since I was a young man, when a dentist accidentally double charged my debit card. I never allow anyone first line access to my accounts. I did with the sile and about had an anxiety atta attack because I, you don't know, you know, if you're wiring someone $30,000, you don't, there's no consumer protection. You, you, that money's gone and you can't get it back. And it's just trust on your part that you're actually going to get a product. And I, you know, I've seen a lot of guys, you know, on YouTube, they, they obviously have silver CNC and it obviously works, but it's a, it's a leap of faith that, that I don't like doing. So for example, I never use my debit card. Okay. I never give anyone first line, uh, access to, to my money. My debit cards are always locked up in my safe unless I need cash. And then I'll use the debit card to pull out cash from the ATM. I use a credit card and, and then that, that credit card, um, I have consumer pr protection. I have protection against fraud. And if something happens, I don't have to pay that, that fraud that the credit card does. If I use my debit card and someone, something's fraudulent or I'm not satisfied, I'm on the hook for that money. And when I paid that dentist, for example, I was in college, charged me twice for $700. The, the lady said, hey, don't worry about it. I refunded you. Well, the institution takes your money immediately, but you don't get it. The refund, you don't get it back immediately. It took, it takes three to five days to get that refund. And it took three to five days and all of my checks bounced because I was just a kid, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. So I didn't feel comfortable about doing a, a wire transfer. Instead, they agreed to do PayPal. Now I had to pay a little extra. Again, I think it, it, it was worth it to me and it was, I felt good about it. Maybe in the future I'll do a, a bank transfer. I don't know, but I had to pay a few more percent for the P PayPal surcharge, but I did PayPal. I felt like I had a little bit of consumer protection, maybe not, but, um, that PayPal accounts, uh, um, attached to my business credit card. Um, that's how I did it. And obviously everything came, it worked out well. So, so that's my story um, about it. I would much prefer 
a, an upfront, hi, I am Lang, I am selling this surface plate, it costs $1,000, would you like it added to cart? That's what I would like. But there's a, an old business model of, you know, you have to go to your sales rep and then you're going to negotiate your price with that. And I, come on, guys. We're, we should be past that at this point, I think. I don't like that. Just be, just be above board, you know, like Fifth Axis. I, I, I like their, their, I like Fifth Axis. I like their business model. I love their website. Everything is great. So anyway, tell me what you think. Um, anyway, so next video, it's going to take probably another month is me installing it on the mill and uh, setting, setting my G59. Uh, I'm sure there's a, a tool sold separately that indexes on something like this that you can probe off of to get your G59. But it doesn't have to be exact because the, the, I just need to be in the, in the general area so that when my probe comes in and probes G54, it, it knows wh where to drive from. So it should be interesting. At least one or two videos just on that. So really appreciate, I really appreciate you tuning in. Hope you enjoy the video. By the time you watch it, I'll be probably sipping something cold in, in a nice campground in this heat wave we're in. Great time to go. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Take care. Bye.